guys, welcome back to the... Ellie's Artos. Today we are going to attempt to make the blackest of buttercream for Halloween that you guys have ever seen. You are going to need four sticks of butter, two pounds of powdered sugar, which is one full bag. This is gonna be your main ingredient. It's gonna be the cocoa trader, and it, I think it's in black Dutch. You're also gonna need one pinch of salt, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and one cup of heavy whipping cream. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start this video so we can see if this is actually going to work. We'll be back in a second. Bye! Once you have all four sticks of butter inside of your mixing bowl, you're going to want to mix it on low. You want to mix your butter until it looks nice and fluffy. Once it gets to that stage, you want to turn your mixer off and add your cup of heavy whipping cream. Remember guys, you have to do this slowly. Once your heavy whipping cream and your butter are all nice and combined together, we're gonna go ahead and start on our dry ingredient. We're gonna start with the one and a half cups of black cocoa powder. You wanna make sure that you sift that. You do not want no lumps at all. As soon as you're done with your black cocoa powder, you're going to add the full bag of white powdered sugar and sift that as well. Make sure there is no lumps. Once you have done all that, you're gonna go ahead and mix everything together until it looks like kind of like a grayish color and that's when you're going to add this to your butter and your whipping cream. I forgot to tell you guys, you want to make sure that you throw the dry ingredient one cup at a time because if not, it's going to fly everywhere and it's a big old mess and disaster. Do not forget to scrape your bowl because the sugar does get stuck to the bowl. This is around the time you're going to add your one tablespoon of vanilla extract and your salt. We're gonna go ahead and get our Wilton 1M and I'm gonna throw it at the bottom. I'm gonna cut the tip. This buttercream came out very, very vibrant in the color black that we wanted. It also pipes really, really nice because it is a little thick. Right here, we're just adding a few sprinkles that I got from Walmart. They're so, so cute. Okay, guys, so there you have it. I'm not gonna lie. It does have like a distinct taste. It kind of tastes like Oreo. Like, what do you think? It tastes like Oreo, but it doesn't have that mm, of an Oreo. Like, it has the flavor. It's like, so, like it's there, but not there, there. The cocoa powder has like this distinct taste. Mm -hmm. So it overpowers what you put in it. Mm -hmm. So that's why you had to use two pounds of powdered sugar. Yeah. But if you use more sweet components, it'll come out sweeter if you like it like that. Yeah. Or maybe like a different extract. Like I use vanilla. Maybe try a strawberry mm -hmm. or even like a citrus. Maybe, you know zest some lime in there something has to kill that uh cocoa flavor i think that's what it was for me remember it was an attempting video so i think it was a pass it needs a little bit of tweaking we really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow bye, bye.